Hello everyone, I'm Sri Lakshmi. Today I'm here to explain about my EC312 course project, which is training a neural network using particle swarm optimization. So here I have the table of contents. So a neural networks are powerful machine learning models that are capable of performing complex tasks such as classification, regression, and pattern recognition. However, training a neural network can be a challenging task, especially when dealing with larger data sets. So we traditionally use optimization algorithms like gradient descent, which may suffer from slow convergence or get trapped in local optima. To overcome these challenges, particle swarm optimization can be employed as an alternative optimization algorithm for training neural networks. Coming to my project, I have taken an iris flower dataset. The iris dataset is a well-known benchmark dataset that consists of 150 samples of iris flowers with 50 samples from each of three different species. Each sample is described by four features, namely sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. First, pre-process the data set by standardizing the features and dividing it into training and testing steps. Particle swarm optimization is a population-based optimization algorithm inspired by the social behavior of birds flocking or fish schooling. The algorithm consists of a population of particles that move in the search space to find the optimal solution. In our case, each particle represents a set of weights and bias for the neural network. Coming to the fitness function here, I have used a fitness function to evaluate each particle is the cross entropy loss between the predicted and actual class labels on the training set. I have used the one hot encoding technique. A one hot encoding technique is a technique that creates a sparse vector zero everywhere instead of the position one. This way, a unique vector is assigned to each target label class. The function takes y as input and returns one hot encoded vector for each class. The weight of red will be written as 100, yellow as 0110, and green as 001. Coming to the softmax function, the softmax function is used to calculate the probability of each class from these logics. Output of the last layer without any activation applied. Some of these probabilities of each class are always 1. The softmax function here is e power x by sigma e power x. So first we train the forward pass. In training the forward pass, the function performs the forward pass of the neural network and calculates the error using predicted and actual labels and then returns that error to particle swarm optimization, which optimizes the error and updates the weight. It takes x input data, y target labels, and w weights of the connections between the neurons and the layers of the neural network. Coming to the accuracy, the accuracy of the test data was calculated using predicted and act, uh, actual labels as input. It takes y actual labels and y hyphen predict as predicted labels and then count the number of true predictions and then mean it. Here I have the code. That's the output. And uh, I will show you how to run the code. So this is my Python code, which I have written. Uh, for training the neural network. And let me click on run so you can see the accuracy. It's running, guys. So, uh, in my problem, it takes around 900 iterations and it calculates the cross entropy loss and we get the global best loss and also the accuracy. Here I have updated the course, uh, code and we get an accuracy of one. So when we compare, on an average, when we compare, like uh, my code has an accuracy around 93.33%. So let me compare with the, the application. Uh, so the results of the PSO optimized neural network achieved a higher accuracy on the testing say 93.33% compared to the back propagation trained neural network 90.33%. This indicates that PSO is a promising optimization algorithm for training neural networks, especially when dealing with complex tasks or large data sets. In conclusion, I want to conclude that this study demonstrated the effectiveness of particles from optimization as an alternative optimization algorithm for training neural networks.
the results show that PSO can achieve higher accuracy compared to backpropagation, especially when dealing with complex tasks or large data sets. Further research can explore the application of particle swarm optimization to other machine learning models such as deep neural networks or convolutional neural networks. Additionally, hybrid approaches that combine particle swarm optimization with other optimization algorithms or regularization techniques can be investigated to further improve the performance of neural networks. I have taken these following differences and I thank you all. Uh, thank you for patiently listening to me and I would especially thank Dr. Pulikisho sir for giving me such an opportunity uh, to tell about my course project. Thank you.